Hello everyone, uh, I'm Patrick. I, uh, I'm a jazz musician here uh, in Hong Kong. I run my own big band and we're performing on the 17th, uh, the concert jazz uh, in French films. And as part of the concert, actually, we are very honored to have a guest here, Frederick Morin, uh, who is the artistic director of uh, the National Jazz Orchestra in, uh, uh, in France. The, can you tell us a little bit about you and, and your group? Orchestre National de Jazz, uh was created in uh, 86 by the French uh, government and uh, it's I, I'm, I think I'm the 11th uh, artistic director of the orchestra so there have been several other ones before me uh, this this is a very difficult question because yeah. I, I'm not sure I, I, I know what is jazz in fact <laughs> because jazz is yes, it's, yes. it's a very difficult question but I can tell you more maybe about what's going on in France. Uh, yes, please. There are a lot of, of different music played under the, the label jazz in France. You are, I mean, some people are playing really very straight jazz uh, uh, from, you know, post-bop jazz, let's say. Mm -hmm. Some people are playing very experimental music, freeform music, and it's also labeled jazz. Because I think something in France is that when you don't really know in a creative in creative music in France, when you don't really know where to put stuff, maybe sometimes you put the label jazz on it. That's maybe one of the explanation. <laughs> yeah. Since uh, in my big band there are also uh, actually mainly classical players, mm -hmm. mainly classically trained, but they are like uh, interested in, in in playing big band, and uh, it's actually the like same instrument but different sound. Yeah, yeah. You have to pr produce different sounds. Like, how how do your musicians like uh, uh, <coughs> handle that challenge? I, I think it has a lot to do with their education. I think that they have been doing uh, the thing all their lives for the ones who do it. I, I think there are another one. For example, a, a, a great trumpet player in France called Claude Egea, which is a, a great lead player. He's been doing thousands of recording and stuff. He's been doing a lot of class. He's been doing a lot of stuff also with Michel Legrand, uh, what I would call the free form improvised music, which is something that was really connected, you know, to the contemporary music in the late 60s and 70s. Because, for example, there are very uh, important musicians in France who used to play in the late 60s, 70s, and we did some recordings with Stockhausen, for example. Yes. And 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 there are jazz musicians in France, and. Uh, and uh, there was, this was a very important movement, I guess, in the in the jazz uh, history in Europe, was the the fact that there was a, a connection between contemporary music and this free form improvised jazz, which is a uh, which is quite strong in Europe. It's quite strong. Yeah. So it becomes more of a jazz concept instead of a, a style or, or, or a sound. It's the, it's the concept of listening to each other and improvise rather than major seven and then flat nine chords and stuff like that. that, that that's, that's, that's probably true because I, I'm pretty sure that uh, if, if you play with a... Uh, I've been playing with American musicians so I'm sure about it. If you play jazz with the American musician, whatever kind of jazz you play, I mean, even if you play freeform stuff, and stuff right. everybody has got a background and is educated in playing, you know, major seven chord and whatsoever and playing standard music. That is not the fact in Europe. Mm. Some of the musicians, they are, they, they don't know how to play. For example, for on, on some of them, some of them really know how to play. I don't want to say all of them. I mean, some of them really know how to play also. And, 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 I mean, we've been doing standards recording with the uh, with Orchestre National and with some of the musicians of the orchestra and they really play very well with standards. There is no problem about it. But there is also some musicians that they, they don't play this music, but they still they play jazz music. But Bill Evans actually said uh, jazz is a, a concept rather than a style. He said like when Mozart improvised in the sense that he was playing jazz, that that's mm -hmm. how he put it. So uh, I think for, for nowadays I, it, it's hard to say what like what is jazz. For example, I, I think that there are there are records done that are there's no improvisation in, in the whole record, but it's still jazz. It, it sounds jazz, and I've heard a group of musicians actually transcribe note for note uh, 
uh, uh, uh, Miles Davis' uh, kind of blue and they perform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, even for big bands, there's so much written stuff. Is, is that not jazz? It's, it's very hard to define, actually. Yeah. But it's very that's interesting to, to know that that uh, in, in, in Europe, that's the difference between musicians would be they, they would have no background in playing standards like for even autumn leaves or, or like all the things you are, they, they wouldn't know that, but they would still play jazz and they consider them, themselves playing jazz, right? I mean, I just have, just have to, to say it again. Huh? I mean, many of them have got the background. Of course, uh, of course, but I mean, I mean, uh, I, I don't want you know to. <laughs> no, not, <laughs> but, not uh, but, way, uh, but not all of them. I mean, what's important is that not all of them have got this background, and I think um, yes, it's 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 something that is quite peculiar. Right, I, it, it's really interesting to hear you talk about uh, jazz being connected to the um, heritage of your music because classical music is European music. In Hong Kong, it's it's very different. Um, we have we don't have such a strong sense of what is our music. So jazz musicians in Hong Kong, they usually they're attracted by uh, the American tradition, standards, bebop, and so which is normal, yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's more uh, close to the American way of uh, jazz education rather than the European one. So in a way, so oh, somebody wants you to have, uh, give some advice on. Yeah, different two genres demand different tones, skills, and uh, yeah. I think the most. The, the biggest advice is to play with people. Yeah, I would. really, it's the biggest advice. Play with people. Try to find people that are more experiment than you are, and yeah. that's how you will learn uh, a lot of stuff. That's really the most important stuff. Try to find a good drummer if you're not a drummer. This is so so important in all the music from you know Afro Afro American tradition. Uh, I mean jazz, but all, the, all I mean you can put funk and all, all this, this music, soul music, and um, the drummer is so important in all these musics. I mean from really from the first tradition of jazz to Steve Coleman's music. I mean you cannot imagine Steve Coleman's music without the drummer that he's been playing for with. So so um, try to find a good drummer and play with people. That's the the, the biggest advice. And when you get stuck. That's when you're when you're really stuck and you know you don't have people in your band that can help you. Try to find some people that know how to help you. But uh, the biggest yeah, like, uh, like you, you don't get you, you shouldn't. But if you have a good group, that's good. But uh, you cannot just stick to your own group. You have to play with so many different people. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. When I say try to play with people, I mean you will find some people to play, and then. You will also you play with other band and stuff. That that's that's obvious. Obviously, that's very important to play with a lot of people. Yeah, exchange. I think jazz is uh, such a social music that you have to like talk. To, actually, actually talk to people and exchange ideas instead of like besides just exchanging ideas in music, like just playing on stage with each other. You have to talk about it and um, yeah. So I I think it's. You have to. You should be generous with your ideas. Tell people what mm. you're doing, and and hopefully people will tell you what they are doing. And and and, and they, I think that's how development of jazz is done. Like mm. play it instead of. It's not like classical. Like in classical, you just you just close the door and just practice on your instrument. And, and that's, that's right. And 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 I think that the 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 no, the biggest import, uh, the biggest notion in this is interaction, interplay. Yeah. I mean, the interplay is one of the things that jazz is really about. I think is interplay. I mean, it's about you know doing improvisation, but I mean, it's about interplay in the improvisation. And and when you listen to you know Monk or Shorter or Mingus or uh, all the giant in this music, man, everything is about interplay. And so, so, and and to, to to be able to understand that you have to play with a lot of people, because you have to find this connection when you play. You have to understand that sometimes things are working, and and the music connects, and uh, there is a real uh, like a, a dialogue building between musicians. Because that's something I've got in my mind, and I know this music. I wanted to make sound with a huge horn section and not a lot of sax, 
musicians. But I cannot explain you why I want it, but I know that I, I exactly, uh, I mean, for, for musical uh, purposes, I, I'm sure about it. I, I'm pretty sure that I want it to sound like this. You, you cannot explain every little decision of yours. It's just like speaking, like maybe mm -hmm. the sound you want, this is the word I use, and uh, maybe that's it. Sometimes you cannot dig too deep <laughs> into it. It's <laughs> feeling sometimes. And uh, yeah, I, I think everybody has a different process of coming up with uh, each, uh, what instrument to use. And uh, thank you for sharing uh, the way of, of how your mind works. And uh, I think it's about time uh, uh, for our conversation. So thank you, Frederick, again. And thank you all. Thank you a lot, Patrick. It was okay. very nice to talk to you. Very nice talking to you too as well. Thank you. I've, I've learned a lot about the uh, French and European jazz and... Um... Uh, I hope we will meet. Uh, if you come to, to France, uh, I will be delighted uh, to, to meet yeah. uh, you. And, uh... yeah. Okay, thank you very much.